Hey everybody, I obviously survived the hurricane. Thank you guys for those of you that knew I was in the direct line of fire and were calling me, checking up on me, texting me, emailing me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all so much. And those of you that have waited and are still waiting for your private readings, um, we are just climbing out from under this thing. It's been a very, very taxing, stressful, couple of days lots of work went into everything it's just such a pain when these hurricanes come the preparation and the um and the you know the cleanup and everything everything it's just a big pain in the butt but anyway everything's cool here we're okay but again I'm so sorry you guys are still waiting for I don't think I'm going to be ready to do private readings until probably after the weekend um, for those of you that are waiting and I do apologize but um, like I said just just climbing out from under this thing um, I'm so happy that we have electric now we have um, our Wi-Fi is working everything's back in order so at least you know I can catch up a teeny bit I'm gonna do a real quick Thursday reading for you guys right now and we've been doing themes on Thursday and I've been leaving it up to you guys to pick what our theme is so the theme we're going to use this Thursday is going to be you with your higher self and I would love to tell you who is the one there was a couple people that actually suggested this reading so for those of you that suggest suggested you and your higher self great choice I love it okay so let's get into it what do we need to know for Thursday um, the, this is um, July 8th, 2021. What do we need to know f about this reading? This could also resonate at any other time when you're guided to see it, but I'm just putting it out there on the 8th of July. For you and your higher self, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about what do the subscribers need to know? Anyone who's guided to see this reading, what do they need to know about them and their higher self? What does their higher self want them to know? Milestone, friends and colleagues, an increase. Wow, deserving. This is excellent. Look at this. So have you been eliminating people that shouldn't be in your life and letting in new ones? because you've made milestones with this. This is like the award goes to you for the people in your life, colleagues, friends, whoever, This you're on an increase. If you haven't seen this yet, you're about to increase your friendships and your groups to what? An increase cycle. This is an increase cycle of better people higher vibration people and why because you deserve it because apparently you've been doing something that you've hit some kind of milestone this is so nice this is someone whoever this is for you've been doing your work that's all I got to say you've been doing your work wow all right so let's see what else we need to know from your higher self this was um quantum oracle and we're also going to use um chakra wisdom oracle all right so we're going to get into that too all right so what do we need to know about whoever is guided to see this and their higher self what does their higher self want them to know recovery oh absolutely and wisdom's at the bottom look at that wow okay let's keep going though i want to get a few more so you've had some kind of you're going through some kind of recovery or you're about to graduate this feels like graduation from something you've been working on this is like a lot of internal work going on here perception give me another one please Oh, that's way too many. Way too many. We're just going to take uh, two more. We'll take two more. Okay, what else do we need to know? One or two more. Recovery, perception, milestone, friends and colleagues, increase and deserving. How beautiful. Growth, insecurity, and prayer. Guess what's at the bottom? Gratitude, my favorite one. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so again, now look how there's two of them together in this. There's something going on with you just being better at picking people. And if you're not yet, you're going to be. Okay, there's some kind of transformation. When I see this perception, 
see the butterfly anytime you guys know if you watch my channel anytime there's a butterfly in any of these cards i feel like there's a transformation of sorts happening there's something i don't know i wish i could see what exactly this is but it has to do with the heart chakra because this is a heart chakra card um these green cards are heart chakra so I feel as though, and the insecurity has to do with your base chakra. So this is like your, your, um, your, your base chakra has to do with your security. So this is coming up in security and why something about the heart chakra is what's making the insecurity and see, this is supposed to be like the little devil over here. I really feel, <coughs> excuse me. I really feel like something, um, there was something that happened to you cause you're going through recovery here. Mm-hmm. Some kind of recovery going on. It affected your heart chakra, but you're getting all balanced out with perception and growth here. You're really starting to look at things differently. Perception for me is kind of like the hangman, somebody who puts themselves in an uncomfortable position to see things from a different perspective. So I feel like that perception card is like the hangman. But with gratitude, come you've got prayer and gratitude coming out at the end look at that i mean with the gratitude card and deserving here oh my gosh this is so nice this is like cornucopia to me it's like you are being rewarded in some way for something you've been doing and this really does have to do with your recovery and you've been praying and you've been tr doing your work recovering and looking at things from a different perspective and you've had a lot of growth all through this recovery process but this has really been about something to do with insecurity. And I think it had to do with um, something heartfelt. So this is someone who hurt your heart, you know, um, or something that hurt your heart. And not only that, this even could be spirit saying, look, people hurt people and hurt people hurt people, right? So spirit is saying, look, but you can't let that hold you down and it looks to me like I'm talking to whoever this reading is for isn't letting it hold them down you might have gone through a time where you really were suffering with your heart space um <clears throat> I feel like it was because of something you went through with possibly a work situation or people in a group a group related could have been friends could have been family could have been work could have been anything doesn't have to be it could have been one person that did this to you but all they're saying is you're going to be so grateful for those people that are the good people that you're moving towards it's i mean like this is absolutely a milestone in groups friends colleagues whoever this is is an increase so whoever you're bringing into your life these days or about to bring into your life it's all different there's no there is no and at, right after um gratitude at the bottom of the deck was soulmate this can be this, these groups they can be you could be moving towards your soul tribe I really do feel like someone's moving towards their soul tribe, towards the people they're supposed to be around. This is the kind of people that we move towards when we are high vibration, right? Um, it's right next to this, friends and colleagues, is the increased cycle. So this, whatever these people bring into your life, it is cornucopia. You are deserving of it. It is because of all your growth. I do love this. Just... um. I would say, if anything, work on your base and your heart chakra. Um, that way you can get really balanced for this. Because when this, and you know, I had to work on my chakras this morning. Because I didn't have all my stones. Put These stones help so much. And because it's been such a stressful week. And because I've also had to be around people who aren't as high vibing as I'm used to being around. So, I mean, because of all this emergency situation and you know putting up that wall of protection calling in spirit and you know call i, I like to put up a, a wall of protection the white light of the holy spirit to protect me and my vibration protect my energy but when you're in an emergency you forget to do these things you're in a hurry you're doing what you got to do you're stressing you're causing your balance to go out and plus i said like i said i don't know if i said it on this video or not all my stones were packed away um, they got scooped up and put away accidentally and I didn't have them on and for two days and I was so out of whack this morning, which is so rare, rare for me. So rare. 
I have been working on my chakras for an hour because I wanted to come on here and have my chakras in alignment for you guys. But anyway, so no shame in that, working on chakras. In fact, somebody asked me if we could do something like that, but there's so much out there on YouTube. You just punch it in and you can do, you know, five minute alignment or you can do, you know, all night long, whatever you prefer. Um, everything, I like uh, seed mantras. They, they're my favorite. So maybe we'll figure something out to do because I know a couple people mentioned it. So maybe we'll use the chakra cards and do a chakra reading and go from there. But, um, and then um, do a seed mantra so that you guys can balance your chakras. I think it's it was a great idea. I'm just trying to figure out if we really need to because there's so much out there on YouTube for that. But we'll see. Anyway, but today it's all about you and your higher self. And your higher self is saying you are graduating. I mean, when I look at this milestone card, and this has to do with the people you let in. And this has to do with these people bringing you into, well, you bringing you into a high vibration, bringing your, this is um, a cycle. This is a cycle card. See how it's a cycle at the top? This is a cycle of increase, and it has to do with this huge graduation, and it has to do with the people you let into your life and you deserve it. This is beautiful. Are you going to just, have you been steering? Actually, would you guys comment down below and let me know? Are you coming into contact with more uh, people like yourself? Are you, th the story of the ugly duckling, we had that story, somebody had that reading this week. I don't know if it was a daily reading. I don't know if it was um, one of the weekly readings because we're doing the weekly readings again. Um, somebody had the story of the ugly duckling where, you know, they realized they were actually not an ugly duckling in their group that they really didn't feel at home in, but they found out that they were a beautiful swan when they got together with their soul group. That's what this feels like. This is the graduation of the ugly duckling who really was always a swan. This is nine of pentacles for me always a swan so that's why you're in this really high vibing place because you've discovered it all right let's get a couple of these too what else do we need to know i mean we're keeping it super short guys because i'm going to do the weekend for you too and i got a lot of people to just email back and let them know that i will be getting to their personal readings um come monday i'll start reaching out to people for personal readings okay so what else do we need to know here please for the collective for today, it's Thursday, for anything they need to know about um, their higher self, them and their higher self. What does their higher self want them to know? Not for you. I'm telling you, not for you. Not for you is all about the swan wasn't supposed to be with the ducklings after all. Orphaned. I cannot make this up. These were not for you. These people weren't for you. You were supposed to move away from them and you were supposed to move towards your soul tribe. This was spirit's way of guiding you towards your soul tribe. So when you look back with sadness and say, I can't believe like all these people are gone from my life. I can't believe what happened happened. I can't believe that I had to, you know, that I was dealing with so many people that weren't in my highest good. It was a lesson learned. It was a, it was a, um, it was a karmic lesson, no doubt about it. I'm going to get you a couple of little angel cards. I feel like you went through a karmic cycle and that's why you, and you graduated with flying colors. I mean, like you didn't just go through a, um, a karmic cycle whatever growth you you went through whatever perception you're seeing now whatever recovery and prayers and work you did internal work and putting yourself into hanged man for as long as you needed to whatever you did has healed your heart and brought you towards this gratitude i feel like you're coming out of this insecurities you're about to see something it's going to be a huge milestone it has to do with you coming in contact with the right people you're supposed to be in your soul tribe it, it's an increase in the cycle this is a brand new cycle goodbye goodbye low vibration cycle hello high vibration cycle and why? Because of the milestone, because you deserve it. 
this is to me like nine of pentacles you are standing in a high vibration and that's when those things that this is also six of wands okay it's a six card it's six of wands but to me she's nine of pentacles she's that high vibing she's like the empress you know because why not for you an orphan is what had to happen for you to get to the right people the right circumstance and if you're not here yet if you're somebody who has gone through losses of people if you're playing kickball and just people come in and you're like nope 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 like you know they're not in high vibration this is because you are in high vibration and you can see through their low vibrational tendencies the drama the bs you know the whole whatever it is it doesn't even have to be directed at you you see it in them and you know you're next you know it and you know and you some of you are even getting people actually testing you they try to pull the drama on you and you're like no thank you i'm out of here and you pull the plug on that these are tests these are people who have come to you for a reason a reason a season in a lifetime right they're there for a reason and they're to test you to see if you are ready for this huge graduation and apparently you are so guys congratulations give yourself a huge hand you are um you're on your way you are on your way to something beautiful these people were not for you you were supposed to be orphaned from them and you are headed right towards those swans just like you more swans out there are just like you you're about to come in contact with them unless you have already and let me know down below if you've come in contact with the swans or if you're hoping too soon and tell me about the ducklings did you kick the ducklings to the curb not that we don't like ducklings but the bad ducklings <laughs> uh, the ones that weren't in your high is good um, I can relate to that I've gone through a period in my life like that too um, you know it takes a while for you to really realize who's in your highest good and who isn't but once you do get it boy you just take off so i can i can relate i've i went through that everybody does i really think any light worker does all right let's look at it angels what do you want us to know what do you want anyone to know who resonates with this reading honesty surrender and grace how beautiful and that's what this woman is this woman is grace to me she's just beautiful and graceful deserving okay so we've got honesty taking a good look in the mirror okay getting really honest about the people in your life too. surrender just let it go honesty surrender this is like someone who just says spirit Jesus take the wheel that's what this feels like okay spirit take the wheel whoever you believe in take the wheel I trust you to guide me to the people the places and the things where I'm supposed to be and this is always my little goodbye Felicia graceful card where this person says bye Felicia in the sweetest of way and just keeps on a going all right that little angel um this is a really good reading guys this is someone who is if you're resonating with this you've been going through a healing and a recovery after a hard time in your life and after dealing with maybe multiple people who were not in your highest good i feel like this is someone who is reshuffling the entire deck of their life okay let me know if this is you guys let me know if it's you um beautiful beautiful reading i absolutely um love this reading um reach out to me let me know if this is you you are if you haven't already you're about to go into a beautiful cycle of increase and it's because you deserve it stay high vibing stay there don't let yourself fall into any pits don't let anybody who's bottom feeder karmic or anything like that back in block 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 delete 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 um because you were meant to become orphaned because they were not for you because there's something way better for you I mean way 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 better for you I think that you're gonna be um, quite impressed with about the changes you're gonna have come about in your life very very soon if you're not seeing them already all right guys let me know if this resonates comment down below claim it claim it claim it everybody claim it down below and so it is it's yours um, I'm gonna get 
the weekend reading out and Monday's reading out for you guys as soon as possible because like I said I have to go on this cleanup thing from the storm I'm going to be getting back to everybody this weekend about scheduling their personal readings the people that are waiting I apologize again and thank you for being so beautiful and patient and for caring more about me than your reading I really do I have the best job in the world I really do you people are absolutely beautiful and I appreciate you so so much you don't even know every single person I reached out to was like oh my god just stay safe we don't care whenever and that is incredible very selfless thank you guys I appreciate you so much I will talk to you soon bye